on guys, it is JJ here from Forever Flying and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a hyper cork. A hyper cork is like a step up from a corkscrew, it's where you land on the swing through leg. So it looks kind of like a mix between a corkscrew and a 540. Before you attempt this move you should be really comfortable with a corkscrew. The more control you have over it, the better. Also, it would really help you if you can already do a 540 kick. For a cork hyper, there is kind of a 540 look about it, as you have to land on that kicking leg, which is basically your swing through leg, so there is a swipe kind of motion in it a little bit. And if you can already do a 540, you're already used to doing that motion where you kick that leg up and land on it. So yeah, I hope you're good at 540s. If you need any help with those moves, whether it's a corkscrew or a 540, I'm gonna leave links to those tutorials in the cards as well as in the description. Let's start by warming up your corks. So do five of your best corks, making sure you get really high, lots of power. After you do that, then you're gonna do another five, but make sure that you're flipping your cork as much as you can, and you're aiming to land on two feet. Usually for a cork, you take off, lean back, squeeze in for a split second for your spin, then open out, relaxing your swing leg and letting it trail behind, but that is for a one-footed landing. To land on two feet, set up nice and high on your takeoff. Lean back to give your cork a good flip. Squeeze in tight for your spin with your arms nice and tight to your body. This time you're not going to relax from your spin after a split second. Stay wrapped up in your spin and hold it for a little bit longer, almost like a little extra nudge. And when you open out the spin for the landing, keep both legs together and squeeze them just before the landing to push them underneath you so that you are landing with your chest up. If you can land a cork with two feet at the same time, then you're halfway there to a hyper cork. The next step is landing on the swing through leg. To do this, your swing leg has to pass or overtake your takeoff leg, which means there is going to be a slight kick midair to allow your swing leg to do so. And this kick is where your 540 is gonna come into play because effectively you're going to have to land on your kicking leg for a cork hyper, which is exactly what you do for a 540. The kicking motion in a hyper cork is actually much easier than in a 540 because you can use your spin to help you. The more you spin, the less you have to kick to land on that leg, as your swing leg hip will already be closest to the floor. Before you go for it, practice some 540s to get used to landing on the kicking leg. Okay, now let's do it. Here's what you have to do. Once you've taken off, lean back like normal. Initiate your spin tight and fast as if you're trying to land on two feet again. Once you're upside down or are at the point where you would normally open out or relax your swing leg, extend your swing leg and kick it to the floor to land on it exactly as you would for a 540 kick. Make sure that you're spotting the floor and keeping your leg nice and strong for the landing to avoid your leg collapsing on impact. And that is how you do a hypercork. I hope this video has helped you to learn or improve your hypercork. If you have any further questions regarding the hyper cork, or if you have any tutorials that you would like me to do in the future, make sure that you leave a comment below. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, share this video with a friend, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.